Hi YouTube fans, it's David here from DP Computing. Today we're going to do a brief teardown of a Toshiba Satellite Pro R50-B laptop, which is this one. Before we start, um, perform these steps at your own risk and also please take anti-static precautions. Now the first thing you have to do is make sure the power is removed from the unit which is up here on this side so make sure your power adapter is removed and also take out the battery which is here. To take out the battery it has two little clips that have to be pushed outwards so the one on this side will stay out this one will just is spring loaded so just hold it out while you push out the battery and there we go there's the battery itself it's quite small um, not very big at all, but let's see if we can get a part number here. It's a model number PA. Where are we? PA five two no five one two. Well, it's very small. Five one five two one two U dash one BRS. That's PA five two one two U dash one BRS. See if the um, camera will pick it up. Probably not. That's about the best you can do on it. So remove the battery, put it to one side. Um, now the optical drive is just here. To get at, to that, there's one um, screw here. I'm just using a Phillips head screw, a number one, size one. So remove that screw. And the optical drive should pull out. There we are. So there's the optical drive itself. So you can pick up the model numbers and stuff there. Probably have it up the right way for you guys. So as you can see there, the model number is UJBE2. No, it's UJ8E2, sorry. UJ, UJ8E2. Again, pop that to one side. Now we've got, I think it's about 21 other screws to remove. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Well, I'll just go and start removing them. So just please bear with me while I remove them all. Now I did loosen a bit, them a bit earlier, so hopefully... We'll be able to go through this fairly quick. Um, while I'm doing this, please check out our other um, videos. We've got a few for the Toshiba Pro R50-B. We've got one with an unboxing video and one with us first turning on and setting up Windows 7. Yeah, I think when I was counting, I counted that one twice. So I'll just double check anyway, but there's 21, 22 screws including that one and 21 once you remove the optical drive. But I'll double check that in a second with you. Screws aren't coming out, so Now, just take note, some of the screws are a bit longer, if you can see that, than the others. That last one I pulled out is one of the longer screws. So just take note of where the screws you've taken out come from. Uh, just a couple more. 
See, again, that's one of the longer ones. And that's one of the shorter ones. So it looks like the longer ones are the ones on the outside of the case. Yeah, that was one of the shorter ones as well. Now that's all the removed. Now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Now you may need to get something small and thin under the side so we can prise open the case. Now this is the trickiest part because you don't want to snap anything or do anything. No, nothing there. I'm just looking for any other screws or anything I've missed. Do this gently, just make sure you don't snap anything, but as you can hear it's, it just clips off. So there's the underside of the case, which just has some padding in for the hard drive. So there we have it. We've got the room here for the optical drive. We've got an SD card reader here, USB, Ethernet over there. Got the fan and the heat sink here. Got memory, so one's full, one's empty. Hard drive is here. Wi-Fi cards there and the um, BIOS battery is just there. So once we get it all off, as you can see it's fairly easy to get into everything. Um, now just look at the hard drive here. The hard drive itself isn't screwed in but it is probably screwed in. Let's match this up. No, it isn't. I thought it might have been screwed in by one of these, but it doesn't look like it. But it's just held in place by the um, the, ca the cover itself. Now the hard drive is it's got the little SATA connection. So to remove that, just be careful. Just pops off. And there's the hard drive itself. The hard drive isn't in a caddy or anything. So once we get that, we can then replace it with something else. Um, but this one is just a, uh, a Toshiba hard drive there, as you can see the model number and everything there. The memory itself is just held in by two silver clips on either side, so just pull them outwards and the memory will pop up, which we can then um, remove. To push it back in, make sure the little gap lines up, so push it in and then push it down till you hear it click. There we go. There's a teardown of a Toshiba Pro R50-B. I'm just thinking of anything else here that I've missed. I don't think so. If you've got any questions or queries, um, please leave a comment in the comments field below. And also, please check out our other YouTube videos on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.